Good afternoon, friends. Well, good morning, actually, in Australia. Thanks for joining us on today's flight. Today's flight, we are... Well, it's bright, isn't it? God. Oh. Today's flight, we are heading out to Uluru as rock from Darwin. I've input the data already, so we don't need to worry about all that. We'll just get the engine started. Alright. So we need to get ground services involved. So I'm going to see if they'll come and give us a bit of power. Where we are right now, we don't seem to be having to, to have anything. I think we just want us to go. Oh, there's cars though. Let's uh, tune to ground services and see. Because we need it. Oh, we should literally just push back on power. All right. No probs. Darwin ground virgin tool one one two tree requesting pushback. So this should be really easy and really quick and easy. Uh, Darwin ground virgin tool one one two tree no pushback tug is available to answer your request. There's no pushback tug. Okay, never mind. Fuel pumps. Keep the fuel pumps in. Thanks for coming, Ken. We're rolling. Yeah, I'm back. After that bit of a um, bit of a dodgy start. thing you know um, GTA 5 is like a call it an 8 9 year old kid and flight simulator and my computer actually looks better for that reason yes it is thanks Kev sorry yep I did forgot to set it down Yeah, so we're taking off on runway 36. We're going to blast her straight out. We're going to even go on the grass a little bit.
dodgy takeoff. Flaps are up. Ten percent flaps. And she's the bird is up. So Kevin asks, Kevin Paros asks, where's the stop? Stop today is a place called Connellan, which is known as Ayers Rock, most commonly. Yeah, all good. So we'll spin around. We've got a lot of pitches over there. I think the Aussie Rules grounds and cricket grounds. Look at that green light there in the airport. That's pretty cool. That was, at the beginning of the stream, that was doing my eyes in. It was super bright. So I've run out of shares on my channel from the, from the other one. So I think it's going to be a quiet stream today, but that's okay. People get the back. People can have a back catalog. All right. Computer's not working. Was that something up wrong? Ah, that's why. Idiot. Idiot attack. We are over speed at the mall. So what's new, Kev? Anything, anything been happening, my friend? So we got a nice tidy view of Brisbane. I've been to Brisbane, it's quite a nice place. Thanks Kevin, thanks very much for sharing my friend. It's much appreciated. Big shout out to Morris Ferreira, thanks for getting involved Morris. Mark, sorry. Marloose, Marloose Ferreira, apologies Mar uh, Marloose, if that's right. Please, if you're enjoying the stream, please touch that thumbs up at the bottom as we make our way to Ayers Rock, Uluru. Kevin says, just drinking coffee, playing Valhalla, and waiting to unload wood. Oh, it's a funny thing that, Kevin, I've done some um, unloading, unloading of wood myself today. I'm absolutely shattered, my back is in bits. Cutting wood, loading wood. Didn't do tons of chopping, but a friend came and helped me out, so I'm really grateful for that. But yeah, you know the drill. You've been chopping wood, you know the drill. Shout out to Chris. Yes, Chris. Thanks for liking the stream, Chris. Thanks for getting involved, my friend. How are you doing anyway, Chris? Are you online? Are you watching us? Are you live watching us? Kevin's Perus says he can't wait. What, you can't wait for doing your chopping? Well, you're unloading wood. Kevin, have you done any liveries yourself before on this? Oh. 
sleep already. Chris says he's doing. Chris Colum says he's doing all right, mate. Not online at the but I'll be streaming later. Doing a wrestling talk to you. Oh, nice. Kevin Pro says my. I have not. Chris Colum says hope you're doing good, mate. Smashing those streams, my G. Thanks, mate. You'll have to let us know. Um, get, give us a link for your for your channel for your talk channel. I'll have a. I'll have a watch, mate. You should be doing some, um, I thought you'd be doing getting a load of wrestlers on your talk show. Uh, you'd get people like Marty Jones to come and appear on it. You'll draw a few people. Um, I have actually offered to, let it, obviously we can't because of COVID, but I've offered Marty to do one for us and he's agreed to do it at some point. So I will get him up um, and sit him in the chair and we'll do one together. It'll be a, it'll, it'll be a laugh. It'll be good. It'll be good to talk to him. Kevin Perot says, I've seen people do them. Yeah, there's quite a lot of um, wrestling podcasts out there these days. A lot of people, I don't know why, I think it's to do with COVID as well. A lot of people have, have started doing them. Like, there's a chap who I know locally to me who started doing one. But if they're working, then why not? If people are enjoying it, absolutely let them. Push it, push it, bro. Chris says, will do mate, I'll be, Chris Cullum says, I'll be doing it on Twitch, just see how it goes on the first one, it might have been an interesting one to watch, definitely, yeah, he's, um, he's been around, he's, he trained William Regal, uh, it, and, and you know, he's been around for a long time, and I'm sure he's got some interesting stories to share with you, like, I speak to him, like, just like, when, I, when, it, when we're training and stuff, and when we're talking, because he does ring me from time to time. And you know the stuff he, the stuff that comes out of his mouth, like just talking to him, just chit chat. He's got, some, believe me, he'll have some stories. You know, if he actually sat there and went, hmm, and had a little think about it, I bet he's got some right stories. Like he's wrestled Bret Hart, he wrestled Owen Hart, he's wrestled a lot of them. I'm pretty sure he's wrestled people like Davy Boy. So you know, he'll have he'll have some right stories. So maybe you should reach out to him. Right now, over speed. Gosh. Why are you were over speed? We're only 355. I've got a mouse drift. Look. Why are we drifting, mouse? We seem to have a bit of a mouse drift. That's really annoying. Yeah, um, maybe see if he'll do one for you. Kevin Perot says it's really cool. Hmm, it would be. Chris, if you got five minutes, mate, I'd appreciate it if you if you would, if you'd share the share the channel for me, share this stream. Uh, I'll share yours. Uh, I'm sure a lot of wrestling people will see it as well. I'll share it on my um, page, and I'll give it I'll give it a watch as well. See what it is. He's a really good friends as well at Marty with uh, Dave Finley as well. Fit Finley. Like, they're really good friends. And he trained, like I said, he trained William Regal. Cheers, bro. Thank you very much. Big shout out to Louis De La Rosa. Hello, sir. Thanks for coming and getting involved. We're just cruising on our way to Air's Rock. Thanks for the like, my friend. If you're enjoying the stream, please give us a follow.
Just a nice quiet one today. We're over speed though. That's that's that noise is getting to me. So that was that was really weird. We had some form of a drift. Oh. It's still saying we're over speed, but it shouldn't be because. That's my target. Look, you can see it on there. The green arrow is my target. Oh my. Kevin Paro says he turned his warning offs in game. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really bothered to be honest. I could do the same, couldn't I? Yeah, go on, I'll do the same. It's good set, set, guys. turn it off because I've got them all off at the moment it should be off Ooh, I think it's off piloting and controls notification off something else not the controls big shout out to Reese Island thanks for getting involved Reese I'm just trying to turn something off at the moment um, warnings Turn that. Let's I'll turn that down now. Let's see if that makes any difference. I think it has a little bit. It's under sounds. I might just put it up to like ten percent. Yeah, ten percent. Just so it can out if I need to. Apply and save. There we go. Alright, we're coming back. We're coming back, guys, in three, two, one. Yo, 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 Reese. Good to see you again, sir. Thanks for coming back. I did, my mate. I added you on the Facebook Messenger. What's been happening, mate? It's quite dark, the screen today, isn't it? You can't really see so much. Let's change the camera angle. You might see some more. Big shout out to Mr. Tim Smith. Yes. The South African legend. I think Tim Smith was the first person to have a conversation with me properly. Out of my like personal friends who I know on the stream. So, you know, you're Tim. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for liking, sir. Hope you're doing well. Reese Island says he's been chilling today. Good on you, mate. I hope you're having a good one. What have you been doing? It's some of the regulars are here. You, you guys are some of my regulars. Proper regulars. It's always good to have you guys coming back. Quite hungry today, guys. I might need to get some food out soon. Kevin says no problem. 
No problem, man. No problem. Kevin says we enjoy your streams. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm glad you enjoy. We definitely need to... Um... Well, saying that, I, I do like yours, Kevin. I do like your um, setup with your camera. I like the blue lights. It's really cool. Well, I'm just thinking... Like, the thing is for me, like, I like yours because it's... I don't want to say it's... I don't want to say it's the wrong way, but it's, it's simplistic. Like... And I like that. I like simplistic. I have all this information above. I don't like it, to be honest. It's too much. But people like to see that, I believe. Shout out to Andy Hall, lad. Andy Hall's getting involved. How are you doing, lad? Happy Sunday. Hope you're chilling out, lad. So, Reese says... Reese Island says, I was chilling on my Xbox, on farming, and then I played truck driver, then back on farming again. Boring, it was boring. I've still not played that farming, uh, but I've, which truck game was it? Was it Euro Truck? Or was it like that mud, that new one, which, well, not, it's not new, that muddy one, tough mud, truck mudder or something. It's free on the Epic Game Store at the moment. Truck mudder or something like that. Mudder trucker for something. I do have um, Euro truck. I do like doing it from time to time. I like doing that taxi. I did a. Th what you didn't see earlier on is I did a, the taxi service, and it it's, it's super buggy. It just goes really slow. Like, this game... Ah, okay. So this game um, is one of the most graphically intense games you can actually get hold of and play. Yeah, I'll play GTA 5 on the PC, which is, like, really old. And it's... It struggles with it, like... And I've looked online, and the, what it is, what makes it struggle, is the input from the steering wheel. It doesn't look like Logitech. So Reese Island says, nope, it's called Truck Driver. It's the new Truck Driver out on Xbox One. I've not heard of it or seen it, but I'll have to take a look at it. Might be good, eh? Kevin Perros says, thank you. I like simple as well. The lights can change to whatever colour I want. Oh, but blue and purple are relaxing colours, so I go with that. Yeah, absolutely. It looks, it looks really nice. I love it. Like, that's one thing I don't have. I don't really have a good lighting system, but I've got a green screen. So, let me see if I can show you what I've got. Literally. It's pretty cool. Let me see if I could just edit this for a second to show you. Which is it under? So that's the webcam. Cockpit's gone. It's grey behind. Kevin says the screens and outfits honestly fit your brand really well. Thanks, mate. So look, it's on green screen mode. I can edit this. Where is my video capture device? If I take this filter off for a second, look. Hey, I don't know if you can see that, guys. So this is my green screen, like, and it's amazing at what difference you can actually, what you can do. Like this is what this is literally what I. It's, you know, it's, and you can do it with yours. Like, you can turn the blue light to do that. Because it picks up. Hey.
So yeah, so it's, it's, it's you know. It can be it can be quite good. Um, it's a lot of messing though. It's a lot of messing. It's took me a long time to get this set up. So if you if you need any help, I'll help you set it up. So I've said I think I've said this already. Kevin Pro says the screens and outfits honestly fit your brand well. Thank you. And he says nice screen man. So you know if anyone needs any help, I'm happy to help you guys build something up. It just takes a long time. Tim Smith, in, Captain Tim Smith says, hey, brother. Sorry, I had to restart my computer. No problem, Tim. I was just saying, um, I don't know if you heard, but I was just saying you was the first streamer to, well, person to get involved on the stream and have a chat with me over the, on the chat before, before like anyone else, like Kevin or Reese or anybody that like, got involved. Um, and we're talking about South Africa, where you were from and stuff, weren't we? I recall the day. It feels like yesterday that, in truth, it was probably like bloody f four or five weeks ago. <laughs> but it's, it goes quite quick, doesn't it? But yeah, um, if anybody wants any help, like setting something like that up, then I have no problem trying to help you. It's just difficult. Um, it is just difficult. But I do believe, I do believe, Kevin, that when we do the. Um, the co-pilot thing that we will be able to sort it out because you've got them blue lights you see and like regardless of whatever color you choose as long as you're not wearing a shirt of that same said color um we'll be okay uh, example here is this like behind me i've got a chair a black chair right here my arm is on the chair now you can't see it because i've got a green something green there but if you look there see that gap that's where there's no green uh, we did it with Kyle yesterday when we did the stream we struggled with getting him looking right on the on the channel because he didn't have anything green or blue big enough and he doesn't have a green screen so what he had to do he had to put a bean bag he had a green bean giant bean bag and he kind of turned to the side like this and put the bean bag on his in front of him there on his on his almost like sat on him for the whole stream and that's why obviously it didn't look as good as it could have because it wasn't a proper setup but you, to be honest if he was streaming regularly with a camera then i'd say look you need to go you need to go buy yourself a green screen um kevin you know you don't need one you do I, I don't I, I don't believe that you need one we'll see when we do the um, co-pilot flight, whenever you want to do it, um, when we do it, I'll, I'll I'll have a look. I'll have a mess, but I'm I'm pretty certain that we can at least get you on the camera on the other side in that in this box here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm certain we can get you. I've moved it. I need to move that thing. I'm sure we can get you in that box there. Absolutely. Yeah, we well, just give it a five minute test. Um, and then the next thing will be to look at if we can actually give you control of the plane. That's something we can look at as well. And to Captain Tim as well, you know, if that's something you'd like to do also. Or Reese, you know, we can do that. We can try it. Absolutely. It'll take a minute, like, we can just do, like, a Skype call, or, the, the, I think the way we could get you to control is with the team viewer, with whatever you, oh, well, Tim, we had one yesterday, but it wasn't, it didn't go really smooth, um, the person's camera, Kyle, his camera isn't, wasn't the best, it's quite, um, it was really delayed, and I think he was having problems with his connection. We kept disconnecting, but it's not his fault. It doesn't matter. It's just that it just didn't look as smooth as what it could have done. But, you know, I've told him that if he wants to be doing his own streaming, that it's something he will definitely have to look at. Because um, he does he, he does streaming himself anyway. And I just, you know, I want to help the lad out. He's a good lad. He's a good kid. 
Captain Tim Smith says, yes, I would. He can't wait to see you having a co-pilot. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do that, my friend, and we can have we can have you talking over the over the stream as well. Uh, and Reese Reese also says, "What's that about trying?" Um, Reese, so <clears throat> if it's it's if it's if you want to do it and it interests you, so we have got a thing where we're trying to get core pilots to come. And let me just remove this box for a minute so I can show you. You might have already seen it. So this box here is our core pilot box. Um, and basically what happens like I'm in this box here the core pilot you or whoever's doing it will appear in this box as well so if it's something you'd like to do just let me know and I'll see if I can get it done We just you just need a I'd say you need a PC but you don't to be fair because we can do it over um you could use a mobile phone camera to do it literally and create a call on the phone and and you put your phone wherever you want to put it put it on charge and then let's say if you want to watch it on the computer you can you can do it either way it, it probably would be better with the phone because the phones generally have better unless you've got a really good webcam yeah, absolutely, Reese. You can be a co-pilot, and then in regards to the control of the plane, that's something that I can't guarantee we can do, but I'm going to try. I would say, thanks, Baba Musi. Thanks for liking the stream, sir. I hope you're doing well. Please, if you're enjoying, give us a follow. We're going to get that follower count up today. You're joining us with Captain Tim Smith, Captain Reese Island, and Captain Kevin Paros. Kevin Paros has definitely loved to fly with you. Bro, we'll do we can do this anytime, man. We could do it literally tomorrow. I wouldn't say today because it, it would be too I'm actually live because I'm live now. I think there's too many things we need to test out first. Um but absolutely we'll we'll we'll, we'll have a look at it. Um all I would say is if you want to control it, I think we will need a, at least a PS controller. I think if you had all the equipment, it'd be a struggle. If you had all the the York here, the York and stuff. But I'm trying to get a York. It's definitely something I want to get. I just just saving up, and it's just, I'm just they're really expensive at the moment. They've gone ridiculous through the roof. You know, and and if you have that controller, Xbox or PlayStation controller, I think I do believe that. We are. We will be able to let you take control. I do believe so. I just think it might be a bit delayed for you. Kevin says I'll be up for it on the weekends since I work full time during the week. That's fine, buddy. Um, that's absolutely fine. But I mean, I'm just trying to work out the logistics. Yeah, would I probably have to be the weekend? Also, oh, Kevin flies the PS4 controller anyway. Yeah, so it'll be fine. Like, I've got a flight stick here, what I use occasionally, but I'm not overly keen on it. Um, it's a bit too sensitive. It's a Black Widow, and it's got a throttle control, rudder control left and right there. And then obviously you got um, different buttons on the actual stick, and I, I actually labelled, um, I labelled the things on it when I first started flying. I put the uh, parking brake on it, radio, de-icer, landing gear, flaps, um, and the, I can't remember what the other two were. And then obviously you've got your throttle control. It's not bad, it, but it's difficult because there's not enough sensitivity to do slight adjustments so then you push a bit harder and then when you push a bit harder it goes a bit crazy shout out to Windsor Hete thanks for getting involved Windsor yeah how did you act so I was watching that and I didn't see what you did to fix it was it did you manage to do it in the cockpit did you manage to switch it in the cockpit to make it work is that what you did 
Send that to SA. What, the flight stick? Yeah, buddy. Who's my new follower? Baba Muse. No, it's not. It's Windsor Hete. Thank you, Windsor. Thank you for being my first follower of the day. And big Eric's come back. Thanks for coming back, Eric. How you doing, man? I hope you're well, sir. We're just flying again. We're flying around. Why is that not dated? Maybe it's delayed. Honestly, Tim, I'm going to tell you straight up, mate. For what it costs to post, you could probably buy one for the same price. It's not amazing. Um, I do do fly with it. I do use it. But it's just... I'm just... I want a yoke. I want to get the yoke. Uh, the yoke to just tons better. It's got throttle control, engine mix on it. Just tons better experience of flying. I reckon it costs me to send that to South Africa. About twenty pounds minimum. Minimum. I do occasionally send things to my family in Australia and like gifts and it's they're ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Sometimes, let's just say, if I spend £40 on gifts for the family and send them over £50, it costs £50 in cost, in cost to send it. Now, something like a hat, like you were saying, Tim, about the hat being really expensive. And it, and it you know, well, you said about the gift, the, the prize, and it, a hat wouldn't be that dear because it's just a hat, you know what I mean? But to send something with a bit of weight and a box... Someone's got to handle the box. A little parcel you just throw. But you've, someone's got to handle the box. Your price just goes up due to the size of it. Tim says, yep, he fully agrees. But yeah, Kevin, that parking brake issue, I'm not sure what you did. Um, I was I was trying to watch and I couldn't figure it out. Um, I think he maybe did it in the cockpit. Because I did suggest it, and then it started moving, and then this with the plane then went <whistles> and flew into the um, the side. I couldn't believe it. Disaster! It happens, doesn't it? Can't be helped. Look at look at me trying to land this the other day. Difficult. Shout out to Gurindanath Mishra. Hello. Thanks for getting involved. So clearly my supporter goal isn't working. So I may as well just remove it. Go in, Death Mishra. If you're enjoying the stream, give us a thumbs up. I'm enjoying you being here. If you want to have a chat, let's chat. Jump in the chat box. We've got Kevin, Tim, Reese, all chatting at the moment. And we are close to our Christmas give our Christmas competition and Christmas giveaway. It'll be starting in a couple of days. On the 1st of December I'm going to start it. But I do start back at work this week. Well, it's this week, it's Sunday. On Tuesday this week I do start back at work. So that will make my day streams. Like this is early for me. Normally I'm still at work. So these streams, what I've been doing, have been quite early. So the streams will be a little bit later than normal unless unless I'm on day off and I've got nothing to do if I have things to do in the day then obviously the, the stream will have to wait but I do I do want to make a planner but I'm just really struggling at the moment things are too up in the air We're on a settled 60 FPS and my CPU is using 9.9%. 
latest follower on Twitch is Chef Follower. Tim Smith says 40 times 20.31 rate would be uh, 820. 820, but your plus your price would be getting it here. But if you can get it here, is another thing. I don't know what South I don't know what, what South Africa's policy is on sending things anyway. I mean, in the UK, things are having to go into quarantine um, for three days. So let's just say things come off a plane or a ship. And they have to go into like a, a holding area for three days before they can then dispatch them for delivery. So whatever is three days. So you got three days extra on top of anything else. We'll have we'll talk we'll talk about it, Tim. Um, we'll talk about it at some point. It's it, it is good. It does work, but it's it's just too sen it's not sensitive enough and then becomes too sensitive if you know what I mean so before you move it and then you start to move it it doesn't move it doesn't respond but then you go um so example example would be this I'll show you as I hold it right so you've got all you've got all of it right and you want to just go like to the right so you start to move it and then you move it and then it's nothing's happening so then you move you move it harder and a bit harder and a bit harder and suddenly it goes so it's it's Maybe it maybe there's something I need to do. Maybe there's a a setting in Flight Simulator what I need to change. I do want to do guys as well with you at some point. Um, a group flight if if you've got this. I want to do a group flight. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Gotta stop playing with that. Let's do my editing. So right now we're just we're just flying over the big Aussie. We're going direct south today. This is the first flight where we've gone just direct south. We're normally going. Well, it's normally east, or pretty much just east, northeast, southeast, or east. This is the first time we've gone direct south. Reese says yes, I'll do co-pilot. That's fine, buddy. Um, like I said, all I'll need you to do, you need to have a computer, a PC, and a PlayStation or Xbox controller. If you've got them things, you can fly the plane with me. Big shout out to the watcher. I, can't, I don't know how to say your name, but salute, salute. Hope you're doing well, sir. And Tim, you're the same. Do you have um, an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller? And the next thing is, do you have a Windows computer with a webcam? The Windows computer thing is probably better because you definitely need to have a Windows computer to take control. And then the web, and then you can connect your Xbox or PlayStation controller to it. I can tell you how to control it. Okay, so Captain Tim says, thumbs up. Then Captain Tim says, where are we flying today, Captain? So Captain Tim, today's flight, we're tra flying from Darwin, Australia, Northern Territories, to Uluru Airs Rock, Central Australia. Not a ridiculously long flight, but long enough, I suppose. But we're just making our way there as the sun is slowly rising. In the southeast, and we're just here for the ride. You know, what? I didn't put in a fuel in again. In saying that, there was no ground services for fuel, so I had no choice. I just needed to get out of there. It was really bad, actually. Burning some serious fuel, Captain. Do you know when you're on higher altitude, do you burn more fuel? Okay, so Reese says, 
I haven't got a PC. I only have an Xbox and Xbox controller. So Xbox controller stage one, so you've got that. Do you have a laptop? Could you borrow a laptop? I don't think there's any way of, of you doing a remote desktop through an Xbox to do this. Um, and don't get me wrong, you're not going to get the same user experience as I will get because it's going to be quite slow and delayed for you. It might only be a little bit. But this is what um, this what I'm going to be doing is what they do for... Some gamers do it. Windows laptop cam, yes. Okay, so that's stage one. Okay, but no controllers. So, Tim, that's okay because you will be able, if you fly other simulations, you'll be able to, as long as you know what keyboard commands to press when you're flying, you can fly that way. So that's, that's okay. We can sort that. That's no biggie. So the so the so what you can do is you can hire um, a server, a, like a computer ultimately, and you can play your games through the cloud. The computer at the other end is doing the hard work, and you can control it with your hands. And yeah, it's a bit delayed. So games like FIFA, not good. Shout out to David Wilson. Hello, sir. Thanks for coming, and getting involved. Hope you're having a good day. I am so hungry today. I've, I'm craving chips. I'm craving chips really bad. Want some chips? Potato. Give me some tater. glad this autopilot came out because it, it gives me time to focus on the chat and relax a little bit and you all never need to I don't have to be constantly focusing on what you swap would happen I'd start talking to somebody and reading and then what had happened the plane had start turning so then people go focus concentrate and they tell me off but the fact is I can relax a bit with this So Tim, um, Captain Tim, do you know the commands, the key commands for Flight Simulator 2020? I can't remember if you have 2020. Did you? Was you the man who told me that you had Flight Simulator X and X plane? I don't. I can't remember now. If you don't have them, you could go online and write your main commands out. If you could get hold of them, print them out, or write them down, you'll still be able to take control. Hey, Captain as well, Captain Tim. Look, landing gear is up. <laughs> yep, he has 2020 now, but no controllers. Okay, that's good. So if you. All you need to do is learn the buttons for flying. Um, at least basic control, throttle control, steering control, rudder control, the basic ones. 
everything else can be done in the cockpit with the mouse and you can control that with the mouse like just like that so Tim's laughing <laughs> yeah that is that about the um, landing gear yeah <laughs> Twice you caught me, twice. I hope you never catch me doing that again with the landing gear. Sometimes it bugs, you know. I think sometimes you try and bring it in and you think, right, it's going to come in itself, and it just doesn't. Are we about halfway? I think we're probably about halfway. I'm hoping we don't use much more... Tim Smith says, my son will show me he has a gaming computer. Cool, yeah. All right. As long as, long as you can get the, the, you know, just to get, get a gist of flying. Just get a little gist of it before you come. And then when you do fly, it will be nice and easy for you. And then, it, does your son have a Xbox or anything? Or a controller? Because maybe that's the way to do it. Because I think that will be the way, actually. Three captain, three times captain. I don't really understand what you mean, buddy. I, I, I think I missed some. Oh, three times, yeah. Is it three times? Oh, God, I thought it was just twice. Sorry, Captain Tim. I didn't know what you meant for a second then. So if I turn the, if I turn the engine, oh my, we're shocking, I'm shaking a bit. If I turn the engine power down, I can get one, no issue. All right, if you can, yeah, that'd be good. Um, it allows you to just fly the plane a bit easier to start you off. I thought it was just twice, sorry, Captain. He says, yep, I have Flight 2020, but no controllers yet. I mean, if your son has a gaming computer, maybe he, maybe he has a form of a controller. It's very hard to play a lot of these games with mice, well, mouse, most games, I'm out some keyboard, but certain games need controls. But this game is ridiculous on mouse and keyboard. The first time I flew on this was mouse and keyboard, and I went straight down. You used the um, the number keys on the right hand side um, numerical pad. You use um, eight, four, six, and two to navigate forwards, backwards, left, and right. And then I think you press like control and something to have your throttle up, and then control and another one to go down, and so on and so forth. The parking brake is a certain button and so on and you, it's quite difficult to get used to. Tim Smith says you are a great pilot brother, no issues, thank you. Thank you mate, I'm still learning. I do want to eventually learn how to get from an absolute cold start to fly the plane from an absolute cold start. That's what I want to learn. I am slowly learning but this version of the game doesn't have everything unlocked on it, I'm afraid. It doesn't have everything, uh, there's a lot of things missing. Um, it's inoperable, I'll show you. So a lot of these are inoperable, look. Oh, that's all right. Inoperable, 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 inoperable. 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 Yeah, everything's inoperable. So this is... But when it is operable... Oh, God, I've got a bit of turbulence though, guys. When it is operable, it'll make everything just that bit easier for me. Anyone hungry yet?
Ladies and gentlemen, the cabin crew will be coming around with your food and drink orders. Please take a look at the menu in front of you. Anyone want beer and a steak? Let's get some spear and a steak. I'm so hungry, man. I could do with a bit of grub. So, Captain Tim, look at the fuel level. Do you reckon we're going to make it? I don't think there's any way in the cockpit to show us how far we have left on the trip. Let's have a see. Is it on this computer here? Yeah, so we're just chilling now, guys. We're just literally. Let me look out the window. And boom. We don't need to. We don't need to like. Are we going down? Oh no! I thought the nose was going down. I thought we had like a power loss. I literally, you can go right out to your window and take a look out. Look at the reflection of the moon. I just look at that. Captain Tim says, damn, how far still to go? Not sure. <laughs> Captain, I'm not sure. We're, we're approaching halfway. I mean, we started at 50% fuel. There was no ground services at the beginning in Darwin Airport. So I couldn't get, any, I couldn't get anything on board. I couldn't do the baggage. It was a bit, a bit of a disaster, actually. I thought there would be at least one section with ground services, but there wasn't. I'm sure last night there was something. But it just wasn't where we started, where we spawned. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Nice and relaxing. I could go to sleep. And the music's quite chilled out as well, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, I could go to sleep now. Shout out to Gorav Mandothia. Thank you, Gorav. I hope you're having a good day, sir, madam. We're just flying in Australia to Ayers Rock. We're making good progress. We may have an issue with fuel but we might not but I'm sure we're gonna find out soon enough because we'll probably go down if we, if we can't find it so thank you for the like we're currently at 221 
on the live reaction counter. Captain Tim says, you play good music every time, Captain. Well, thanks, mate. It's actually a royalty-free music, and I like the um, like the music, what it, the options it's got. It's got a lot of different things, but I like the... When I go on a plane, I put music like this on myself, and it's just to relax. Just nice, slow. Makes you sleep, actually. And when you're on a plane, when you're not flying it, when you're a passenger, like there's nothing to do really but sleep and eat. You, know, you can watch a bit of TV, eventually you're going to start feeling tired and drop off. The zombie fire. A plane for the zombies, but the music I would play is, is probably copyrighted, so I can't do that, I'm afraid. But I would, it would have been nice to let you listen to the music I would put on, but it would be something similar. Big shout out to Najib Saab. Thanks for getting involved, Najib. If you're enjoying the stream, please give me that thumbs up. As we fly to Australia. Hoping we get to see the sunrise. I'm thinking we will. Thanks, Captain Tim, for telling me the sound's going to get in my head. Yeah, it always does. It annoys the hell out of me. I don't know why it does it. I can't explain it, to be honest. I think it's to do with the bug. To do with the drivers, apparently. Shh. 
Should be back now. I can see the bar moving. Yeah, thanks for telling me, buddy. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, starting something out on the computer, sorry, I'm, I am here, it's just nice and relaxed, nice and quiet. something installing at the moment guys I, I hope there's no delay on anything fewer levels let's take a look at our few level I'm going to say about 9% 10% so that's alright as long as it stays quite low it'll be alright for me as long as it survives at the trip we don't run out of fuel, that'll be fine for me. <laughs> so Tim, what are you up to today, mate? What have you been doing with yourself on this fine day? In South Africa, what time is it in South Africa? Captain Tim says nothing. Relaxing. It's now 7.20 pm. That's nice. It's 5.20 here, so you're two hours. Two hours. See, that hasn't appeared, that chat though, hasn't appeared on the stream. Captain Tim says it's raining all day. Ooh, that's a shame, it's been uh, rainy today. I've actually been in my garden today, cutting some wood up for my fire, because we have a, a log burning fireplace. So we've been cutting some wood up, and my back is quite sore, and I'm quite hungry. I've had some breakfast this morning bit of bacon on toast it was nice my lovely wife made it for me she looks after me sometimes 
Come on, Jockey, Charles looks after him. So what's below us? We can't really see much below us. There's a bit of haze, isn't there? It's not super clear, is it, Captain Tim? I can't actually... Um, where we go? 8% on the fuel. Do I need to start looking for a landing zone? How do you think we'll make? Let's have a see on the VFR. Oh, God. I'll show you how far we have to travel, Captain. Uh, we're going to have to just try, aren't we? Captain, Tiff's, Captain Tim says invest in a chainsaw. That's what I was doing. I was chainsawing. Um, and a friend of mine came along and did some splitting for me. So that helped. If we can get to 5%. What's this doing? If we can get to about 5% and get to that point on the map, that top point on the VFR which I think is oh we might make it I think we might make it because if you look the diesel point is there we are literally heading you'll see the nose of the plane jump in any second Captain Tim says nope you'll make it 8% we're on we're on that'll be close won't it We'll be close. We'll probably run out of fuel on the runway, do you know, when we've landed. So I'll back a little. We'll see. As you can see, the nose is now in that, in there. The 7% fuel. The tip of the nose has appeared on the VFR map at the top. You can't, you might not be able to see that unless you zoom in, but I can see it quite clearly. I'm starting to lose a little bit of altitude, but it's not a lot. So look, the, the, up to the wing is in now. The nose is getting closer. On 7% fuel left. Captain Tim wants us to hit 250 on the speedo. Okay. Shout out to Lionel Alfredo Fuentelabra Pinto. Thank you for liking my friend. If you're enjoying the stream, please give us a follow to see more of the same. Control it with S250. We'll take the altitude down to 15k as well. I will see, Captain. It's in our hands. Sun will be up soon now. Look at that. Look at that. So we are slowing down. Can hear it. Yesterday was a long flight. I had to make sure that we had plenty of fuel to do it. So we did. And there was plenty. Levels, let's review. So that's still seven. I think we've made substantial progress since then. So the full plane is now on the VFR map. As we come into Connellan Airport, there's Rock. 
Central Australia pretty much. Right in the middle almost. Probably one of the driest parts in Australia. Never been to Ayers Rock. Somewhere I would like to go. Captain Tim believes we're looking good. I'm hoping so. But we don't know till we get there. We don't know till we are literally... If you look there, we've still got a little bit to go before we get to Conlon. We've travelled quite far, as you can see. Let's get the airport on and when we can see the airport then we'll know. Then we will know. How is the speed looking? It's settled at 250. We are slowly descending as well. Well more soon enough, Captain. Very hazy morning. It almost looks just like the ocean, doesn't it? Very hard to see the difference. Still on 7%, Captain. Yankee Victor November. So Captain Tin, 7% it's not changed for a while has it? Not for 5 minutes. We were burning fuel at a high rate weren't we? And suddenly it's not burning hardly anything. Maybe it's because we're going forward, because we're going down. <coughs> Maybe that's allowing the engines not to work as hard. You can see the nose now creeping in at the top. It's connecting to Melbourne. Melbourne's miles away. Are you dreaming? Look, this is where Urge Rock is, and Melbourne's down here. There somewhere. And that's Melbourne down there. It's bloody miles away. Are you dreaming or what? Melbourne's down here. Victoria's down here. Melbourne's like there somewhere. Are you dreaming connecting to Melbourne? <laughs> Captain Tim Swift says, just a bit of experience, Captain. Yep. It's still on 7% as well. Rocking and rolling. Shout out to Abdulladi Quaraitam. Quaraitam, thank you for coming on board. Thank you for the like. Lionel. If you're enjoying the stream guys, give me a thumbs up. Just a quick one. Let's get that reaction counter up from 222. Thank you very much, Abdulladi Koratum. Thanks for getting involved, sir. 
Captain Reese is quiet. I don't believe he's here at the moment. I don't believe the other captain is either. Um, I think they've. Been, I think they're a bit busy. I think some, you know, they're busy lives and stuff. So I understand. It's no problem. Abdullahi Quaritum says hello, Captain. Hello, Captain Abdullahi. Thanks for coming on board. Are you well? Are you having a good day, Captain? Captain Abdullahi, this is Captain Tim, who's in the chat with you. He's not actually here, <laughs> but he's in the chat and he can read everything you're saying. Um, Captain Tim is one of my followers who regularly comes on. I'm hoping maybe you would like to start doing the same. Uh, we are flying right now from, well, we were fly, we flew from Darwin and we're flying into Uluru, which is Airs Rock in Australia. We're currently going around the world. We can't. The only rule is we flew from Manchester and we're going around the world. The only rule, we've got one rule: we cannot head in a westerly direction. So today's today we have gone direct south, pretty much. It's, it's like south, 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 east. We cannot travel in a westerly direction. The only time we can travel west is, let's just say, if we needed to do a turnaround on an airport. That's it. Well, thanks for coming and getting involved, Abdel Hadi. I'm hoping to see you again in the chat sometime and maybe we can have a conversation about, about you and about where you're from. And if you'd like to know anything about me, we can have a chat. Maybe one day you would like to come as our guest co-pilot. I'll just show you quickly. We do have a guest port co-pilot section here on the right. There, uh, I've got a there. Uh, over there. Guest co-pilot. Maybe you'd like to do it sometime. We are gonna try all that properly with some pilots. Something we can fix up. Well thanks for coming. Six percent fuel, Captain Tim. I feel you may be right. I fear your experience has been invaluable to me once again. What's going on? What's going on here, Captain? First of all, let me show you something. That's me, apparently. And that's the co-pilot. And they aren't normally like that. Captain, I am descending to 15,000. But for some unusual reason, I'm losing control. Let me see if I can override. Right, I can override her. There we go, I'm back in control. Let me see if I can get back in the cockpit. I can't control the cockpit. I cannot control anything in the cockpit. Because the co pilots are here. Something isn't right. Oh dear. This is definitely not supposed to happen. Oh lord. Look at that, that's really weird as well. We're now going off course. Oh god. Focus. I'm gonna have to fly this manually, I'm afraid, Captain Tim. Valuable, Captain Tim, valuable experience. Your experience is valuable. Did I say invaluable? I meant to say, if I said that, I apologise. I meant to say valuable. Your experience is absolutely valuable to me. You've helped me out twice now on low fuel situations.
But does an invaluable mean? Invaluable means it is absolutely it like it's better than valuable. It means it's like unmeasurable. The value of your data is immeasurable almost. That's kind of what it means invaluable. But of course you of course the data is valuable. But invaluable means it's like unmeasurable how important the information is. So we are getting quite close to the release date for this, aren't we, apparently, for the Xbox version. Our speed is raising. Not exactly sure why, but we're still on 6%, Captain Tim. We are losing altitude, though. Climbing again now slightly, but I'm not sure why we were losing. Let's take a look at the VFR. We still got quite a bit to go. Let's see if we can get back in the cockpit yet. See the cockpit. So weird. With our backing control. Such a strange thing, isn't it? So we've got a lovely sunrise to our east, southeast, isn't it? No, thank you, Captain Tim. You've, you've helped me twice. Can I go up to 10k? Yes, I can. I just wanted to stay quite low for the landing. But yeah, no problem. You wish me to go to 10k? There we go, we're gonna go up now. Take care, no problem. Alright guys. You just excuse me for a minute. I just need a little break for a second. Just while we prepare for our descent. We're just going to climb up a little bit. And then get ready to descend. What am I at now? That oh, was that about 5,000? Excuse me for a second. I'll be back. Rocking. Right, so we're probably at the 10,000 by this point. 
Yeah, 10,000. Fuel levels at 5%. <coughs> I think we've got enough, Tim, Captain Tim. I do believe we have enough. Big shout out to Catherine Cagswood. Thanks for the follow, Catherine. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good stream. Frederick Moore says, I will always be grateful for the $5,000 Lord Viper helped me earn into my PayPal the last three days. He's a friend of mine. And also received one BTC into her wallet. Message him on Instagram, on Hacker Lord Viper, or WhatsApp, and a number. Frederick. Why? removed so captain tim would you would you be interested in becoming a moderator for my channel if it's something that i can do would that interest you basically means that you will control the chat um any swearing and stuff that you will moderate and stop people swearing and things like that. Captain Tismith says, I believe it would be best when you start descending to use your glide scope. Not sure how to use that, Captain. How would I use that? It's not something I've used yet. Ooh. I could just flip the engines off. Like this. I would like. I, I would like you to, but it just depends if you wish to do so. I would like to be a moderator. You're here quite regularly, and I need. I, I need to invite you to the um, the draw. Do you do you use something called Discord, Captain Tim? Let's check a few levels. 4% maybe. I don't think it's changed, but maybe. If I still at 5 in the red zone. I do believe we're not ridiculously far though from Ayers Rock and Connellan. to desell soon but we're doing okay for the moment the sun's not risen yet i'm wondering why the sun's taking so long to rise today okay tim captain tim says no sir so he doesn't use the discard um you don't necessarily need the discard I need to make a, a team of like friends who are regularly regularly come and stream on, who will like share the page and stuff, so that when we are live, that other people will know that we're live, and things like that. Really, do you do do you know how to do sharing, uh, Captain Tim? Do you do any sharing at all? Look, there near your approach, you will see AGS.
GS. I'm afraid not, sir. It might be inoperable. Toilet. <laughs> no for both. Near the approach switch. See it. To be honest, I can't see it being um, operable anyway, to be honest, buddy. There's so many things what aren't on this but just inoperable inoperable like literally you're lucky to even have half of these look that's inoperable even the bleed like look at these are operable engines are operable batteries are operable pumps are operable on the dash panel of the autopilot switch approach turn approach mode on AGS AGS Shout out to Alvaro Silviera, thanks for going back Alvaro Just press the approach. We're slowing down. So we can see in the distance right there, right in front of us. That, you can't see it from this angle. We are losing altitude now, press the approach button. I think we're settling off again. Let's get um let's get it to 6k. So in the distance here, Captain Tim, you can see there where the mouse is. It's currently there. You can't see the mouse, can you? Oh no. It moves. There is Ayers Rock. That's the main geog uh, that's the main place what this airport serves on foot with four percent fuel. That's the main thing. What this airport serves as a, a tourist area. It, has, uh, 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 can't talk. It serves as the main airport to bring tourists to Uluru to Airs Rock at Uluru. So you can kind of see that in the distance. Um, looks so small from here, but when you get to it, it's huge. It's got to be it. Big shout out to Sneaks for getting involved. Hello, Mr. Sneaks. Mr. Adam, how are you doing? We're continuing our trip in Australia. I couldn't find it, Captain Tim. I could only find that. Um... Could you see it? Is it? Can you actually see this button? VDR, VOR, sorry, ADF, ARPTWCTR. Was there in 2018, so it's gone. Right, it's okay. 
It's fine. We're coming in for the landing very shortly. There's rocks gone now. It's actually kind of disappeared. That's really weird, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind, sir. We will just do it the way we have to do it. Getting really close now. Check the fuel levels. 4% fuel. That was definitely it in the distance. It had to have been. You can see it from the airport. And you normally, when you fly to Con when you fly from Conlon, it's um, I have to, I've done a tour of Earth's Rock on one of the other streams on a small plane, and flew around it and up it and down it and stuff, and it was, you know, it was good for ten minutes. Captain Citizens are doing good with the four percent fuel that we got left. Yeah, we're doing all right. Nothing too shabby. We're at six thousand one hundred feet. We're probably a bit low for AOA. Oh, that's me. Captain Tismis, Captain Tismis says, was there in 2018? What, you were uh, here? Where we're going? Oh, do you mean the flight simulator, the button you were looking for was there? We are getting rather close now. Captain Tim says, Captain Tim says, wow, that must have been so cool. Bless you, Captain. Thank you for blessing me. Need to be blessed. Need blessing. I'm hoping this fuel holds 3% maybe. You reckon we're on 3? The sun will be rising, so we might even get to see a little bit of it. Oh, 3. We're on 3, Captain. Oh, dear. We are at 6,000 feet. Does feel like we're actually getting lower, but apparently not. Ah, Catherine Smith says yes. I have family in Aussie. We draw. They're nice. I got family there too, buddy. God, I bet that. I, I bet that was um. I bet that drive was a bit of a long one. God. Drove to Ayers Rock. It's huge, isn't it? Altitude sticking at 6,100. I'm stopping the fuel sticks. Just cruising on nice and tidily. Tidily. I think we can see Ayers Rock now. He says it was a great experience from Port Pori near Adelaide. Isn't that's a long trip? That I'm sure. Adelaide's like miles away from anything. The dry, dry desert of Australia. 3% fuel left, guys. It's going to be an interesting time to see if we can land this baby without crashing. If you're in the stream, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please give us 
a thumbs up before we go. This could end quite badly. We're almost running on fumes. But we're coming into the zone now. On the VFR map, we are zoomed quite in quite a lot. Captain Tim says the rock is ahead. It absolutely is. See on, you can see her there. I'll show you on. The, um, where's my mouse? There's my mouse. She's like there, isn't she? You can see. It's actually really weird. So, where the mouse is now, I'm actually pointing. I'll show you where I'm pointing. That's where my mouse is, and I'm wiggling that round. And on, on your screen, it shows it there. It's out. I'm sure that that is though, that there is the rock itself. It's the biggest thing in the area by a long shot. Fuel level, 3% still. Let's zoom in a bit more, shall we? You zoomed in a bit much there. When we can see that in there, we'll know that we're getting close. You see the rock now on this angle. Captain Tim asks, reduce the speed to 2.30 if we can. Yes, Captain. She's slowing down. And the sun is going to, well, it's beginning to rise. It's got to be. Holding at 2.30. So we're nice steady at 2.30, holding at 6,100 feet. Fuel is still, still 3%. 2%. Oh, Lord. I'm tempted to deploy landing gear, but I don't really want to. Because I know that'll waste fuel. This is going to be the closest one. This is going to be a close flight. If we make this, there'll be a party. And the sun is now beginning to rise. We can see it from the other window. Let's check it out. There we go. The sun is coming up. Captain Tim says nope. Are you talking about you're going to? Do, it's so delayed, Captain. I wish it was more on time. Captain Tim's obviously talking about the um, landing gear. Oh, someone's got six thousand feet to to decide when it begins to drop. So we got to see the beautiful Australian sunrise from Ayers Rock before the plane. Landed or went down, whichever one it is. Big shout out to Murillo Coelho. Thank you for the for the thanks for the follow to Murillo. Thanks for getting involved. We're currently flying to Ayers Rock from Darwin. Quite a long flight. It'd be a long drive. Gosh, gosh. So I'm not sure where I'm going after this. Um, after this, when this flight's done, when we've landed, I'm not sure where the next flight will take us. Could be Sydney, could be Canberra, could be Wagga Wagga, could be a, 
Could be Broken Hill. There's a lot of places we could think about going. But we'll just see. I don't. Th I don't believe we're. We're not even at the desal point yet. We're gonna. We're gonna end up in the water, I believe. And we are moving slowly towards the desal point, but it's not quick enough. I better be on guard. Still on two percent. When we get on the one percent, that's gonna be squeaky bottom time. That water is actually closer than we thought. See, the rock's gone again. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, give me a nice thumbs up. In the chat, at the bottom of your screen, press that button if you're enjoying the channel. Let's make it happen, guys. Still on 2% as we wait for the sun to rise. Two hundred and twenty-three live reaction counter. We are now getting close to the desal point. But are we close enough to land with 2% fuel? It's not a ridiculous amount to go. We'll just have to see what happens. Murillo Cohelos says, nice graphics. Does this game have a career mode like FS Passenger on FSX? Marilla, I don't know. Um, it logs all your hours. It has challenges, but does it have a career mode? I don't. I don't believe. I could be wrong because I don't. I don't know myself. I don't know. I'm afraid I can't answer the question for you. We're getting close to the D cell now, but we're going slow enough to have control. Something I'll look into actually, Murillo, because it could be interesting, eh? I'm just flying here, I'm just flying around the world. Captain Tim, are we going to make it? We're at the diesel point on probably 1.5% fuel. If not 1%. Captain Tim says, stay at 6,000. Tell air traffic control request 3,000 if we can. I will do, mate. I'll do that, Captain. I'm just hoping we don't run out of fuel. Right now, we're going over water. Why can't we see Air's Rock again? It keeps disappearing. Is that it there? That's it. It's got to be there, isn't it? I'm saying that. There's a few big things around. A few big mat like matters around in the distance. Could be that there. Are we hitting the 1% yet? We're at the 1%. Oh my. Oh my, and the sun's come up now. I reckon, so we was about, when 2% came, it was about there. About there, about there. So that means that's 1%. So that means we might get to about here. About there. And then we'll begin dropping. Until, the well, until it hits zero. And when it hits zero, I'm just hoping there's fumes. 
I'm just hoping there's fumes for us to make it. I'm hoping. It's a hoping, guys. We're currently over water. Captain says, how you are, let's go use drop speed to 210. Yes, Captain. So we're clearing the water here. We're now over the water almost. It's going to be a close one. There she is. Uluru. Clear as day now. We can see Ezra Rock right now, can't we, Tim? One percent fuel. Almost running on fumes. We are getting close. just trying to see if we can do this I'm just hoping that the runway is directly in front so we can just swing down I hope we don't have to start turning in mid air and all that lot because that wouldn't be good because we're just gonna burn fuel and drop altitude quick and then we've got no petrol no fuel to kick it back if we need to kick the speed up I'm hoping it's enough we are due to f run out any second to 0% fuel. Captain Tim says it's beautiful. Engine 1 is at 4%. It's saying. Engine 2 at 54%.
We are close now. There she is. Tip. Autopilot disengaged. Oh god, we fluffed it up. Do it this way. Well, that was a hard landing. Oh, my. Yankee Alpha Yankee Echo Traffic Virgin 1123 is on final runway tree. One to land. You have to get her down. We were running on fumes. Fumes, literally fumes. Fumes, boys. Welcome back, Captain Kev, and welcome back, Captain Tim. Not sure what happened. Fumes. We are literally on zero percent fuel now. We are on fumes. Why can't we steer that way? We damaged it. I think we damaged it. Literally fumes. Yeah, we have damage. We've taken damage. So we can't turn that way now. Oh yeah, we can. We're slowly. We're just going over this. We've just got no fuel left. There we go. Took a shortcut. Woohoo! Right.
Let's get everybody off, man. Oh, man, I'm tired. And it won't even allow anything to be done. Let's see if I can connect this jetway or a, a, um, a ramp. Con connect a ramp, guys. Alright, so we arrived, guys. There's Rock. There's, there it is. We only just made it. Zero percent fuel. And I'm tired and worn out after that now. Oh my lord. Alright, my guys and girls. Look at that. Literally. One engine is out, out of fuel. One engine? Still got it. Other engine, no chance. Might just burn this out till it runs out. Burn out some fuel, guys. Oh my. That's the fuel pump disconnected. What? Oh, it's playing, look. One engine is absolutely gone. Oh, I don't know. It was scary. I don't know how I managed to land it. It was, a re it was really hard. I don't think. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Tim. I don't know how we made it, but we did. We literally, one engine, we ran out of fuel. The other engine has now just run out, literally. Look, you'll see it stop now. You'll see it come to a stop. This engine has just run out of fuel, literally, right this second. That one there, closest to, is stopping. Seems to be still spinning somehow. But. Generators are off now, that one's stopped. It's trying to start up again. Come on. Nah, it's gone. It's stuck, guys. You can see it slowing, you can see it coming to a stop. And that is the stop. Out of fuel now, no problem. Thank God it was here and not in the air. Literally, we were five minutes away from running out. We are lucky. Right guys, thank you so much for joining us on today's flight. Been a nice and quiet one some new likes and thanks for joining us Captain Tim thanks for joining us Captain Kev and Captain Reese also for thanks thanks for joining us thanks for the new people liking and the new followers there's a fuel truck over there need to fit I need to get the command for, for fuel donor commanding fuel let's see if I can find it
Thank you, Captain Tim. Yeah, he's going to fill her up. See, he's messing around. He's going really slowly around the plane, but not actually doing anything in regards to fuel, but never mind. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. It's been my pleasure, Captain Tim. Oh, there we go. Just fill it up. There we go. Full. Beautiful. So we're now on fuel, full fuel. Woohoo! Right, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope you have a good time. Um, there'll be a stream tomorrow, but I'm not sure what time. I've got an appointment tomorrow in the afternoon. So I will let you know. <clears throat> You'll get an alert when I'm online. I'm probably going to say maybe four or five, about five o'clock, um, depending. But I will let you know as soon as I know. Alert will pop up. You guys all have a great Sunday evening. Go and have some nice food and get your feet up and relax. Enjoy the day, guys. Peace out. Captain Drone Wrestler signing out.